What's going on YouTube? Uh, today we're going to be getting into a playthrough of the game Celeste. I uh, played this game once before, really enjoyed it, wanted to record the gameplay, put it up on YouTube, um, partly because it's a great game and I just wanted to play it again, partly because I wanted to get some more content together for YouTube. So let's get into it straight away. Okay. Start a new game. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Even though it's all really pixely, this game, it's just, there's something really endearing about the artwork. It's just really beautiful. This is genuinely one of my favorite games um, I've played full stop. Excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. Ha 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 ha. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. Ha ha ha. Well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. Alright, let's go. Across the bridge. <gasps> we made it. You can do this. Alright, first level down. That was the prologue, I guess. Chapter 1 Forsaken City. So, anyone that doesn't know this game, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, focus on mental health and being able to cope with things and doubting yourself and being able to do things that you didn't think you could do it's uh it's very very cool great message in the game i was absolutely adored it on my very first playthrough uh, this will probably be my third i think I, no this is going to be my second full playthrough of the game um, I have played it more than once, but I've only ever completed the game once. So it works with there's wall jump mechanics, basic wall jumping. You hold, uh, what's that? ZR, you can hold onto the wall, and then you can air dash with Y. So that's the basics of it. I thought I might have been able to get up there, but maybe not. Nope. So these things sort of throw you into the distance if you jump off of them at the right time. So you've got to be careful not to do that. These 
fly away if you use the dash button. So if I dash, it flies away. So if you want to get the strawberries, we're not going to be going after all the strawberries, but um, we're going to get the ones that we can get. In a room that's got a strawberry or wings on it, you need to not use your dash. Whereas here, for example, we can use the dash. There we go. What was up here? Nothing. So with this we're going to jump off at the right time and it will give us a boost. There we go. So every time you hit the floor as well your, uh, your air dash resets. Reset your boost in midair. So once you've used a boost, it gives you another one. Dead. There we go. There's a little cheeky spring there. There we go. Okay, so here we're going to meet our friend. Oh there, fellow traveller. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. I kind of can't believe it exists. Not the easiest climb, is it? But I guess that's what I was looking for. Whoa, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type, I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. Hey, sorry, I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Madeline, I'd say you've come to the right place. I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place to be for some quiet reflection. Yeah, maybe you're right. What far off land did you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical exotic kingdom of Seattle. It sounds like a special place. This place is wild. Why would an entire city be abandoned? I read that some mega corporation started building it and that no one wanted to live here. I wonder why. My money's on a government cover-up. What a waste to build all of this for no reason. At least we get to enjoy the leftovers. Got anything else to say, Theo? Are you here to explore the city? Yeah, I have a thing for abandoned places. And I like to think of myself as a budding photographer. Oh, really? Cool. Do you have a blog or something? A blog? Madeline. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo Understars. Look me up. This terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope, I'm heading for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so. I bet you could make it to the summit too. Maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top to be honest. Oh, but I heard there are some legit old ruins up beyond this city. Like 1800s legit. I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. What's that thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw caution to the wind? No, that's not it. 
Oh, right. YOLO! All of that was worth it, just to get the, the YOLO. Right, we need to talk a little bit about the soundtrack to this game because it is absolutely incredible. It's so good. Okay, so down there. And a little secret. So, we're going up here, use that, oh, there we go, there, there, beautiful. Looking at the uh, format, like what what order the colours were coming in, coming up on the satellite dish, and watching the bird of that colour, what direction it dashed in, so I could find this heart. I remember that one from my first playthrough. I don't think I have ever gotten all of them before. Ever. I mean, we might try to do it, but we'll we'll see. I really want this to just be a fun, casual playthrough of the game and not really worry too much about 100% of it and just want to beat the game. Figure that. Okay. Nice easy room. What I really like about this game is the retry system. If it didn't have a retry system, I wouldn't be playing it anywhere near as much as I am. I have uh, because it is an extremely difficult game. It is not easy by any means. But you see the way if you die, you just restart at the beginning of the room. Makes it very, very. Uh, enjoyable to play there we go that one was nice and easy yeah, I think I can make that yeah I think I can make that as a jump to see if we can get this struggle yeah not too shabby. What was that over there? I mean, it looked like it just disappeared over there, didn't it? I must see anything. Okay. That's definitely what we need to do there. There we go. I think that makes me lose the panel, oh, no, doesn't it? Oh, so I'm going to need to get up here first, I guess. There 
There we go. Through spikes. Easy peasy. I think this one we're gonna have to. Yeah, there we go. I feel like there was something up there. Definitely something came out wrong there. There we go. Okay. Got it. So, this is for the B sides that, um, you can unlock in the game. Now the B-sides are uh, like way more difficult versions of each level that you're playing. So Forsaken City is fairly easy. Um, this will be a more difficult version of Forsaken City that we will play. Um, I'll see how it goes, um, how long the videos end up being before I uh, commit to playing the B-sides for this playthrough. There we got it. So I think we're doing quite well with strawberries. I think I don't think we've missed any so far, but I'm not an expert at this game at all. So we may well have done. Alright, we're up. There we go. Yeah, see this was where we were before, but I don't think we can get through there. Okay, easy. Easy. Great stuff. Celeste Mountain, this memorial dedicated to those who per perished on the climb. Oh, I'm exhausted. Little birdie standing on her head. This might have been a mistake. Chapter complete. Oh, nice little picture there of Madeline taking a nap with a little bird on her head next to the campfire. Alright, well that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, the rest of the episodes will be coming out in the next few days. We'll be uploading one a day until the game's complete. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's any other playthroughs you want to see me do. Um, don't forget you can catch me on Twitch. I usually stream Mario Maker Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 p.m. GMT. Um, do viewer levels, so feel free to come in and add your level to the queue and I'll give it a play. Um, yeah, that'll be it for today. So take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.